Okay, in this video, I want to show you an Arduino prototype PC board I found online. Now this PC board will accept Arduino Nano module, which you can see here. It will also accept an ATtiny85 module, which plugs in here. And it breaks out all the pins. Here's the port pins for the ATtiny. And here's the pins for the Arduino Nano. Now if you want, you could add a socket to the board. If you want to put your module into a socket, so you just solder in the sockets. And then you could plug in, in and out your Arduino Nano. Now there's also a header that you could, you could solder in. And you could get access to all the pins of the Arduino Nano and then run jumpers from the header to the prototyping area. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my, I'll solder my Arduino Nano directly onto the board. And then I'll run wires from the pads onto the prototyping area. Now the prototyping area is similar to a solderless breadboard. It has an isolation channel. In this case it has three isolation channels. So there's the first one. So I'll straddle this IC socket across the first channel. And there's your second. And the third. Now each isolation channel underneath has a power rail. So you've got your plus 5 volts and ground on each isolation channel. So as you uh, put your components on, you can grab power and ground from each channel, so it's very handy. There's also eight LEDs. They'll accept eight LEDs on the bottom. You can see the silk screen. So you've got eight LEDs, and you've got the current limiting resistor, and then you've got your power pads input to drive the LEDs. It's a very good quality board. It's made by PCBoard.ca. There's also a power supply section, and I'll, I'll, I'll solder in the components for the power supply section. And then we'll check out the operation of the board. Okay, I've added the power supply components to my proto board, which we can see here. Now this bare board costs $10, and if you want the extra components, it will cost $12. So for two more dollars, we get the components we could add onto the board. I've soldered on the Nano onto the board, and I've added an LED down here, and connected it to pin 13 GPIO of the Nano. Now there's a few ways we could power up the board. We can power up the board through the USB connector on the Nano. Just plug it in. You can see the power light come on. So we're feeding 5 volts to the Nano and also 5 volts to our, our power rails on the Proto board. We could also use an adapter like this, an AC adapter to USB if you want. And we could uh, power up the board that way. There's also a, another connector on the board. We could feed a regulated 5 volts into this connector. And that would feed 5 volts to the 5 volt pin on the Nano. And feed 5 volts to the, to the power buses on the proto board. There's also a power connector that will take 7 to 12 volts. So we can plug in an AC wall wart into there. You can see the power light come on. So we're feeding 12 volts to the VN on the Arduino Nano and the 12 volts is also fed to this voltage regulator and cuts it down to 5 volts which will drive uh, the power buses on the proto board. So we get a little bit more current capacity with, uh, with this regulator. So those are the options we could use to power up the proto board. Okay, I have my proto board powered up by my USB cable connected to my computer. And I have TerraTerm running on my computer. It's a serial terminal program. So I could gain access into the Nano. And I have a little program running on my Nano. So I could turn on the LED on pin 13. You can see the LED come on. I could turn it off. And I could blink the LED. And there she is blinking. Now there's four holes, mounting holes, on the board. So what you could do, you could mount this on a, on a piece of aluminum, which I do, and then I could apply that into an extruded aluminum enclosure. And you could use standoffs and bolt it onto a piece of aluminum plate. And you could get all sizes of uh, extruded aluminum enclosures where you could put the project board into. Okay, here's an example of another project where I mounted the PC board onto a piece of aluminum plate. I use standoffs, and these are threaded standoffs. So you have a screw on the top, and you have a screw on the bottom, and it tightens down the, the board onto the, onto the aluminum plate. You could also do that for a Vero board, same thing. You could use the same standoffs, which are threaded, and you have a screw going out through the bottom, and a screw going through the top. That's pretty handy, and you cut the size of the aluminum plate to, to uh, fit your uh, extruded aluminum enclosure, and then just slide it in. Okay, that's my Arduino proto board. And what I like about it, it has a large prototyping area, so I could build some fairly large projects. Now the board comes with 
a set of instructions with a parts list and instructions how to build it and how it works. And I'll put a link in, his, in the description box where you, where you could obtain this board. Now you could also use Vero board like this to do the same thing and build up your uh, little proto board. But using a board like this, it just makes it more convenient.